Once the senior voting officer has determined the voting place setup, Locate the AVM and ensure the label on the AVM matches your voting place. Locate the AVM security key in the brown envelope in the AVM supplies envelope. Don't lose this key. Locate the power supply in the AVM supplies and plug it into the back of the AVM. Then, plug the other end of the power supply cord into the wall outlet. If required, use the extension cord provided in the AVM supplies. Look at the touch screen on the AVM. It will advise you that it is validating the application. Then, it will advise you that the election firmware is being loaded. When finished, the AVM will beep repeatedly. With your thumb on the top, seat the key firmly on the security pad for about two seconds, then remove the key. If done correctly, the touch screen will advise you that the key is accepted. It will verify the files, check the modules, and go to the administrative menu. If not done correctly, the touch screen will advise you that an identification error has resulted. Keep trying until the touch screen advises that the key is accepted. Hint: Keep the key firmly seated until the touch screen advises you that it is accepted. Look at the administrative menu on the touch screen. Press Open Polls. The touch screen will advise that the results are zero and ask you if you want to print a status report or zeros report. Press zeros on the touch screen. The AVM will print a zeros tape. The touch screen will ask you if you want to print more reports. Press no. Inspect the zeros tape to ensure that the location is correct. Print your name and sign the zeros tape on the lines provided. Do not detach the tape. You are now ready to accept ballots. Keep your AVM security key in the brown envelope and put the brown envelope in the pink bubble pack AVM envelope for the rest of the day. You will need the AVM security key when you close the polls. At 8 p.m., once all voters have finished voting, prepare to close the AVM. If you have used the emergency ballot compartment, cut the purple cable tie and feed the ballots into the AVM. If any ballots are rejected, press the green cast button. With your thumb on the top, seat the security key firmly on the security keypad for about two seconds. Then remove the key. If done correctly, the touch screen will display the administrative menu. If not, try again. Remember, if the touch screen advises an identification error has resulted, keep the key firmly seated until the touch screen advises you that it is accepted. Touch Close Poll. The touch screen will ask you if you're certain. Press Yes. Wait while poll closes and the AVM automatically prints three copies of the results tape. The touch screen will ask you if you want to print more copies of the results tape. Press No. Detach the results tape.
cut into three sections after the signature line. Print your name and sign each of the tapes. Give two copies of the results tape to the voting place director and keep one copy for yourself. Look at the touch screen and press power down. The touch screen will ask you if you are certain. Press yes. Unplug the power supply cord from the wall outlet. Then unplug the power supply cord from the AVM. Cut the yellow cable tie and flip the locking panel towards you. Cut the green cable tie. Push the pole worker lock to the left. Hold this in position and move the door panel down. Push in the red card lock tab. Pull the orange tab connected to the memory card to remove the memory card. Cut the green cable tie. Push the pole worker lock to the left. Hold this in position and move the door panel down. Push in the red card lock tab. Pull the orange tab connected to the memory card to remove the memory card. Put the memory card and the copy of the results tape in the AVM envelope. Close the poll worker door panel. Flip the locking panel back towards the AVM. Insert and fasten a new cable tie. Pick up the adapter and cords and pack up the AVM. Advise the senior voting officer that you are leaving for election headquarters. Receive the ballot in the secrecy sleeve. Without removing the ballot, inspect the top of the ballot for VRO initials and the VSD poll code. If the ballot is missing the VRO initials and the VSD poll code, have the voter return to the VRO with the ballot in the secrecy sleeve. Turn the secrecy sleeve over so that the blank part of the ballot is facing up. Take the ballot out of the secrecy sleeve and insert it into the AVM. If the ballot is properly marked, the touch screen will advise you that the AVM has processed and cast the ballot successfully. If there is a ballot error, the AVM will beep and the touch screen will advise that there is a ballot error. A ballot error can occur if a race is overvoted, if no votes are marked on a ballot, if the VRO has not initialed a ballot, or if there is a ballot printing error. Look at the touch screen. It will tell you that there is a ballot error. Explain to the voter that there is an error and ask the voter if they want to mark another ballot. If the voter wants to mark another ballot, press return. Give the voter the ballot in a secrecy sleeve and direct the voter back to the VRO. If the voter does not want to mark another ballot,
press cast and the AVM will accept the ballot as is. If a ballot jams in the AVM, the touch screen will let you know that there is a paper jam. Continue processing ballots by using the emergency ballot compartment. Advise the senior voting officer to get a technician to service the machine. Insert ballots into the emergency voting compartment until the AVM technician gets you up and operating once again. Don't forget about feeding the ballots from the emergency voting compartment after the close of voting. As you prepare for opening the voting place, check your ballots. At the top of each ballot, near the right-hand side, you'll see the box marked VRO. This is where you initial the ballot when you give it to the voter. To the right of the VRO initial box is the VSD poll code. This is where you fill in the columns with the number found on the cover of your voting record. Remember, if you don't initial the ballots properly or fill in the VSD poll code, the AVM will not read the ballot. Thank <laughs> you.